Hey YouTube, this is KP with KP Details. Today we will be working on this 2018 C300. Do love the Mercedes Benz, their interior. Uh, the leather holds up very well. This one just needs a little bit of uh, love. Mild cleaner should take care of it. We have some leaves. I think they have an oak tree, oak tree in the front. So we're getting some tree leaves and whatnot into the, the jams. And in the gas tank cover, we're getting the weep hole is getting clogged. So I was able to vacuum that out and then I hit it with the pressure washer and it started flowing freely. Interior, like I said, is really not bad. The carpet is a good quality part carpet that they were using in 2018. I haven't done any of the newer Benzes, but definitely the 18, 17, that time frame were really good. Some more leaves there rims themselves need to be taken care of starting to get a little bit of oxidation on the front headlights outside of that mercedes looks pretty good let's go ahead and get this thing washed and waxed so i started the detail with trying to get the leaves out of the cowling and opened up the hood and found this I'm sure that the car is breathing a whole lot easier now that I was able to get this off. And it was actually on both intakes for the, um, in the engine. So since I did not have the keys to the vehicle, the owner was able to remotely open the vehicle for me. And I knew there were some things I was not going to be able to get. For example, the top of the window, usually I'll wind that down and clean that. I decided a little mini engine detail and very mini would be appropriate the seats on this car when you're looking at them they're not dirty the owner keeps the car immaculate she actually runs it through a car wash once a week and so we all know what that's going to do to the the finish of the vehicle uh, it does get swirls and so forth over time but she is more interested in having a clean vehicle so when I was in here for the front seat, the driver's seat, I did clean half of it with the color lock. I just used the mild cleaner and then the color lock brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in a little bit closer. On the right side has been cleaned and then the left side you can see has not been cleaned. So it just has more oils transfer from, I'm sure the owner's clothing, things of that nature. So once I finished up on the inside, went ahead and started with the wheels. The thing under the tire at the front that you're looking at is the Detail Guards Car Hose Guide. A link to the products that I'm using are going to be in the description of the video. And then, uh, I don't think this is like one of the rag company brushes is what I'm using. I'm just using a cheap one I found on Amazon. And then this guy, love it, gets me behind rotors. This is the Incredibrush flat. With all these wheels, I did have to do the wheels twice just because the rubber was very dirty. Even though it's getting through a car wash, it, you know that really doesn't clean the rubber like it is when you do a, a hand car wash on the vehicle. At this point, I was still using CarPro Reset. So, love the soap. This is just the last of it. Uh, problem that I was having is you're actually going to see I bought a work van and I'm starting to outfit it for mobile detailing and the car pro reset just because of the heat that was in the van it actually just started working its way up through I had just a little sprayer nozzle on it so that I was able to get it to hang and uh, that didn't really work out but anyway this is the last of the car for a reset uh, doing the same thing I normally do have multiple mitts because it was hot we're in South Florida this was in May it's currently June the it was just a, a hot day so I was keeping making sure to keep the car wet keep the soap wet uh, so it just didn't dry on the surface even though this is a pH neutral soap so if it did dry it wouldn't actually do any damage and then I am drying with the my new favorite towel, which is the Liquidator. It's a 20 by 20 towel from the Rag Company. Great, great towel. Next, I'm using the Turtle Wax Graphene Infused Hybrid Solutions Max to the Wax. 
it is my go-to wax it does kind of okay in direct sunlight so it wasn't this was an evening job so it was about 5 p.m that i was actually doing the wax on this and it would have definitely been more helpful if i had a second person there so even though you're going to see me in a little bit use the two two towel method to take it off it would have probably been better if i had a second person that was able to go around as soon as i was done using the wax to actually get it off and to put the wax on i'm using the rupes lrh 15 the mark three and then a lake country five inch their black soft finishing pad to remove the wax i use the two towel method my first rag is damp it's the eagle edgeless pearl ceramic coating towel and then the second one this purple one is the eagle edgeless 350. use the wet one and then come right up behind it with your second towel and that is a really good recipe for getting this wax off so here i am doing the wheels i'm doing a wax actually it's the same wax it's the max of the wax on the wheel uh, that's the homeowners actually coming home right there the owners and then on the wheels i'm using my favorite carpro pearl still love it for the wheels i don't use it for trim as much because i'm having some issues where it's um streaking but on tires love it fantastic lasts for a while keeps your tires black would definitely recommend it for everyone so here is the final product on the c300 did a machine wax wash machine wax uh, was able to get off a lot of the gunk from the car wash just whatever it is that they're putting on there when it goes through the paint is actually in pretty decent condition still has a lot of swirls but we were able to get a little bit of depth back and thank you very much for joining us this has been kp details please remember to subscribe like comment and share